they promote sex and they don't learn you what it is they learn you the wrong things why do you think porn is free advertising they go around in town I talk with the guys they got mad but they listen one guy the son got mad the father understand people came I talk to them this that this is not okay as a man bam 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 I give them advice as a man semen retention you hold in your life force you know you have the power inside of yourself you have the life you create a baby so every time you come your life goes out so it creates life we are life so they make money on sex to sell condoms so men get weaker okay and you need to have condom when you have sex if you're gonna have it so you don't get children you don't come you don't get uh, diseases and you don't want to have children with the wrong woman and it don't protect it can open up for demons and when you have without you get diseases and it may feel better when you have it but it's of the flesh and the moment you release you feel weak you feel bad you go home you watch porn we all have watched porn it's nothing good you don't feel good you drink you take stuff you go you watch you watch a screen and you jerk off and then uh, and then you feel uh, and then you don't feel good in the dark it's not normal it's not good for us man I say to you my brothers it's not good my brothers and sisters we need to respect the sisters and the brothers because it destroys us it leads on a wrong path your mind mental hair why is it free it destroys you here and you shall have it with a woman you love respect build a family children and you see the beauty in in women when you don't watch porn you don't lust you don't chase and you, you respect her and you protect her and you talk with her as a friend, as a woman, as a gentleman, as something nice and good and beautiful. Uh, and you see her as a person, you don't see between the legs. It makes you think dirty. And people can see it, understand it. and you become creepy it's not good and you become more confident as a man every time you release your life you kill your babies imagine how many times we did it before I wish I knew it before way back but now I learn I understand and Wow, a star felt. Now I can wish something. I wish I knew, I understand before. And we need to teach the younger generation this. And this go way back. The books, the Bible, Quran, before Christ. About seamen. And they went around <laughs> in town. I told them, man, what do you work with? What are you doing? Think if a child see this and they show it on TV, they show it on media, and they even learn it in school. But they don't learn about love, when you love a woman, about having children, And the spiritual meaning with that they used to learn on here take condoms you can have sex when you are 15 and uh, do this and fuck around sleep around and destroy your soul your 
spirit, so it's energy. And I told them, guys, you know, we need to focus on ourselves as men, you know, to, to keep, to be strong, to be masculine, to be good men and, and strong and stay away and tell the woman this is not good. Tell our brothers and be good brothers so they can see that we are good men that not every man are bad and pervert and sexistic and uh, because you watch porn you watch weird stuff it's not good it's lust and lust kills destroys so you don't want to have shield children with the wrong woman you want to have it with the right woman with someone you love with and you can go sleep around but what it gonna give you if i sleep around with 20 women and last people go drink they go they have sex and they or masturbate and uh, to talk to women and have fun in, in in real life it's like weird i go i say something to one woman she think i'm crazy or something no i just want to talk want to have fun we can chill we can hang out we can do things you know and not like weird on the phone and like no i don't even want to have sex i don't want to do this it's not about that so we as brothers we need to be strong and you destroy yourself, you destroy your life, you destroy women, and women destroy themselves. And they don't have a good father who say this and uh, do this, and that's there for them. And they want to fuck us up through media, through movies, and the rich, they make money on this. Okay, I, I understand they make money on it, they work with it, but it's not good. I told them you make money, okay, it's a business, this and that, but this is not good. You know, a child sees this. It's like a movie, we close our eyes. You know. When they have this, they, have in, they put in movies, they put cigarettes, they put uh, all this. But yeah, I so, saw oh, you make business on this, but it's not good, you know, to go on the street and condoms and sex do you work with these people stop what is this do you work with this no i say guys listen i talk to them this is not good uh, i talked to him so we understand and i told him you know seek jesus and god because in the end it, it's the only thing that can satisfy you in your spirit you know, you want more, you want sex, you want drugs, you want alcohol, and you open up for demons. So when you have sex with someone, you open up, you become one. So with something energetic, you get close to a person, you exchange spirits, uh, And it's something you should have with someone you love. And real love is hard to find. They don't love themselves. And you can't. Find that happiness through sex. You, can, you can't fuck your life away. You can't drink your life away. You can't part your life away. I've done it before. I had sex. I had women. I have been around the world fucking bitches and stuff but it's not good it's fun it's nice in the moment but actually I didn't feel good I felt bad I felt drained it wasn't good for my soul my body my mind and then you take that sexual energy and you transform into something positive like training you feel good you train and God will bless you God will see what you do and he gives you 
power and strength and spiritual power and to say no if you can control yourself it's good you have many beautiful women they are beautiful they are nice they look good but they can be dangerous they can destroy you or build you so think with your brain don't think with your dick fail with your heart I have it I'm not the best I've done bad things, but I always had a good heart. And I try to see the best in people. And I like good energy. Where's the energy? Where's the fun vibes? It's like everybody is dead. It's the walking dead. Zombies, demons everywhere. We need more energy, more vibes, more higher frequency. I like higher frequency. I like, bam, bam, you know, get in the flow, have fun. And when you start to have fun, then... Everybody starts to get in the vibe. So you need to spread positive energy and, and have a good soul and, and spirit and feel good about yourself and, and others. And, and you will be more stronger. You will be more happy when you find yourself and uh, when you find the right woman because... You're going to spend your whole life with her. So you have fun, this and that, but is it really worth it? Is it really worth... ...to do it now? And lose your children? Maybe have children with the wrong one? You don't know who she slept with and you have no condom and you have condom and you, you come inside the condom and then throw it away. It's not good. And if you have sex, don't have it with, have it, don't take it out, hold it in. But it's all of, of the flesh. Why they promote this porn sack dick dick uh, 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 men and men and women and women uh, and it's not good you should have it actually you should have it when you marry someone not before when you have children or when you love really love someone and when you love someone that's really special energy and when you have a good connection to man and woman and masculine and feminine energy and phew, you connect it creates life it's man strong man masculine and feminine woman masculinity is nothing uh, wrong with masculinity testosterone a lot of testosterone it's not like you go and disrespect women and think bad about women and want to take them down no the man is the leader and he lead and the woman should listen it's not like you should disrespect women or be bad to women you should be there you should protect you should be a good man you should be a man of God it's not like you want to put them down but they take it for granted and then first they want to be with a man and a good man that leads and then she want to control him and you need to control your emotion and they can be very emotional maybe from past relationships and traumas and it's hard to trust she can have hard to trust him, you have hard to trust her. And it's a lot of crazy women out there, a lot of crazy men. You know, we watch this stuff and we get the wrong ID and the religion. And it's not about religion, it's about relationship and God. God is the whole universe. People say, I believe in something, I believe in the 
universe. I'm atheist, I'm Muslim, I'm Christian, I'm this, I'm that. You know who God is? God is everything. What the universe? He's bigger than the universe. He is the universe. It's like an energy. It's like electric electricity. You see dark, uh, uh, the sky. You see uh, uh, light, uh, dark, uh, different colors, different humans, different uh, animals, different uh, spirits, different uh, days, sun, moon, sea, water, grass. IDs, somebody created all this stuff in the world, but God created the nature, he created the animals, he created the man, he created the woman, and the devil come down here and try to destroy us, try to fuck us up, try to get man against woman, woman against man, they have children, fuck children up and fuck everyone up, yes, and fuck, 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 they go around and they do like fuck, 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 fuck for what, fuck this shit, fuck devil. And he's the control of this world and he wants to destroy your mind. And you have to be strong in your mind, in yourself, in your body, mind and soul and spirit. It's nothing cool. Oh, I have body count with 100 women, 100 guys. It's, it's definitely not good for women to sleep around. Even for men, it's not good. It's not good for men to do it as well. And for women, especially. And uh, condoms, condoms, sex, 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 promote, promote, drink, uh, work, work, work. Phones, they see these phones. Okay, they see, but God watch them. You can watch this, you can watch the phones, you can watch TV. Is this real? Are you real? What's inside or is this just an illusion? Is it fake? Is it real? What do you want in life? We want more than this. And you want to party, you want to drink and do all this crazy stuff. And then when it's too late or do you want to wait, change and be a good man, be a woman and find the right one. Because you need to build, you need to build yourself, you need to build you. And it's like everything goes against God promotes apps dating these date dating apps uh, sleep around date her date him and date 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 but it's nothing real real date in real life real talk it's not it's sick through the phones but you go to a woman in real life hey what's up girl how are you and she look at you strange she look at you like you are a bad person and some guys they are not good you know they touch girls they are go after lust and many girls lust and they get so much attention from from guys and they want a good guy then they want a bad guy then they are bad and this then you need to find yourself you need to find life and life inside of yourself and you create life you are life we are life we live this life <sighs> oh, so much rain today rain in my shoes but it's not rain going insane in the brain rain so much rain today pouring down ah oh, then sun then rain but oh, i'm all wet in my shoes everywhere wet 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 and people drink and pee a lot but we all are all are human it's like i'm from the space i'm not from here 
uh, from another race, maybe uh, from up there. Fun things happen. <laughs> oh, shit. We can't save the world, but we can make a, the world a better place by telling the truth, by speaking out, by helping others, because the system, the world, don't want to help you. But Jesus is good, is great, is amazing what he did for us, for you, for me. And without God, uh, I wouldn't be here. I w wouldn't say this because I found out, I did my research, and I want to help other men, other brothers, other sisters. And uh, it's about building yourself up. And if you have something, you need to give. Like, if you make money, you need to give to the poor. Don't look down on someone because... They don't have what you have. Or because you have a Ferrari and, and some guy... Has a... Old bike, so what? It's not here, it's here. You can be rich inside. I can, I'm gonna do another video, I'm rich and poor. You can be rich, many things. It's not about rich, poor. And, and you have to think outside the box. Outside the box. Like people who take mushroom and stuff, they think outside the box and they get new IDs, they create IDs. They take stuff and, but it's, not real but it makes you think outside the box you have to think outside the box and then you can be like crazy he's crazy he's weird because you are crazy in their eyes because they are demonic possessed they think you are crazy when you are doing something good when you want to help them when you want to tell the truth where was i yeah and i uh, had some money and i saw a guy uh he was struggling you know Maybe you don't have a home and something. I said, how are you, brother? Here, take. Do you want money? I gave him some. You know? And if you see somebody don't feel good, you say, how are you, brother? How are you, sister? Do you need some help? Uh, everything going to be okay. Uh, don't worry. And, and say good words to them. You know, uplift them. Don't go and take people down. You see maybe someone sit on the street. Somebody, somebody falls, somebody feel bad, drink too much, you go, you give them water and you help them up. You don't go and do bad, take, take their phone, take their money and hit them. It's not good, you know, and then you get karma back. You don't want to go around and hit people and do bad and I'm a fighter, I can fight. I don't shoot. I, I hit if I hit, but then you need to hit if it's real fight and if when you need, when you protect and when you protect someone and when it's time when you need to, but you can talk out of most thing or go away and be the bigger man. And we need strong men and strong men, they are good men, brothers. And people don't want to hear the whole truth because they talk fast. We can sit down, we can have a conversation about this, about that. I know you need to know what you are doing. I'm an entrepreneur. I work for myself. I'm a leader. And uh, it's about building, not destroying. I got many things here that I was thinking about. And then... I saw another guy stand like this. How are you, brother? Are you good? No, I can't get in my home, okay? It will be okay. Did your girlfriend throw you out? Or why can't you get in? You need to hit the window. I used to joke around, but be good, be happy, stay blessed. You know what I mean? Everybody's person, persons, doesn't matter your color, your skin. You know, it's a spirit. And it's a spiritual war. And then people laugh <laughs> and, and hate, you know, and I don't care. You, need, you know, you need to walk in there like a king. He and us, they come in groups, they, they act funny and they, they laugh. And you, you don't laugh when someone is down, 
maybe someone is down, you lift them up. You say, brother, everything will be okay. Everything will be good. Stay positive, you know. And it's okay to cry sometimes. Everybody cries. I uh, cry to God. I say, amen. I go down. I struggle. You know, when you struggle, we all feel bad sometimes. We fight our personal battles. You fight maybe yourself, your emotions, your traumas, your sins, and all of this. And <coughs> it's something you need to fight with yourself uh, inside the uh, spiritual. And the biggest fight is with yourself and to control your aggress aggression. And sometimes you can be angry, but be in a good way and it can give you power too but yeah you see someone who feel bad they went crazy you know from the world from all the things but they are still fighting nobody cares on them on the street give them food give them home maybe they don't got family they don't got no one there you don't know who he, who he is or what they do sometimes I see I feel bad you know someone don't feel good don't have clothes, don't have food, give them some food, eat with them, inspire people. Hey, how are you? Are good? Spread positive energy. You know, we need more positive energy in this dark world. Okay, the world is fucked up, but we need to make it better. We need to make it better. How? By being better, by saying good things, by not giving. A fuck what they think. They're going to think this, they're going to say that, they're going to think this, but follow the society and follow them. They are not leading the people in the right direction. You need to lead the people in the right direction by telling what you feel, how you need. It's not always what I feel, it's what God says. And the Bible is the truth. We are living in the Bible, the end times, it's now. And it's good. It's something good. You can teach from young age. Now they teach rainbow flags it's okay to be with different genders and you can do it if you want you can do anything do it have fun but i tell you jesus loves you and he wants you to do better and we can't change the world only god can and but don't teach like children they are young they are free they are happy they are you can't put in their mind you give them positivity and also the music can be bad because you listen to bad music you get in in a trance you don't you forget and you get in the zone and you forget uh, yourself and it affects you negative if you listen to listen to dark music and people make music different music you can make music when you're angry and talk about things talk about your life talk about stuff and the music industry is bad it's demonic it's satanic they talk about evil violence and all of this new rap new uh, music it's not good it's better older music reggae and, and old school hip hop, it was real underground, it's more real, but the mainstream it sells, they make money on it, it's a business, the music industry. And it's all about money, 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 but money comes, money goes, and they control the money, they control the world, and they control this shit. The new world order, and people don't see what's going on, and this is something, we need to be saved, we need to repent, we need to do better we can't spend our time on bullshit because one day you know you wake up we all have our time you have your time i have my time i had my time you know you see things you you understand things and it's a it's a lonely walk uh, they say it's lonely at the top and there's different levels so when you see someone who feel bad, maybe you don't make them feel worse. Even if I feel bad, I see someone who feel bad. I don't 
want them to feel bad. Or if I feel good, someone feel bad. I want them to feel good, you know? We have a heart. We can talk, we can walk, we can eat, we can... We need to appreciate things more. And the food, that we have food, that we have life, that we have our heart, mind, soul. God bless.